All right, so let's go ahead and put together our cute little freebie here. Um, I've already done some pre-prep. You've got two pieces and then a little liner piece, and there are four pieces of vellum, which we've done in a nice gold. And I have already put three of the pieces of vellum down. Uh, two of them are identical, so there's two and two. We wanna make sure that you're getting them in the right place. And all you really wanna do is, and I'm gonna use my little dot method here, is just put little dots around the perimeter of the little shape here. Try to get it as close to the inside of the cutouts as possible without getting too close because you don't want it to smear in there. And then throw a couple dots inside here so that these areas don't come flaring out. Okay, just like that. And then put your vellum down. Make sure that you keep it within the border so that none of the vellum is sticking out past the actual cutout. I'm putting the vellum on the inside. Okay, there we go. And um, here's a quick little tip here. I've got a little bit of glue. On, you can just put it on a scrap piece of paper or whatever. As you can see, I forgot to put glue on this little piece here. Um, grab a spatula or a razor, put a little bit of glue on just one side so that you can slide it under and just add a little bit of glue underneath that little piece that's sticking out and just push that down and that'll stay for you nicely. Okay, now once we have that in place, you're gonna put these two side by side. You have a tab here and then you have a tab here. You wanna make sure that both tabs are on the left and I'm gonna use my table to help with the alignment on this kind of take this piece and push it up against this piece until it doesn't go any further and make sure that the bottom is nice and lined up here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put glue on this tab here. Okay. And I'm actually gonna lift this up for just a split second to get that glue and kind of push it out to the edge so that we get a nice clean seam and pull off any little excess that I might have on there. Push it back up against that piece, make sure the bottom's nice and lined up, and just push that over, and get that glued down. Okay, and then you can kind of fold it on itself, and just push down, make sure that gets a nice hold. Okay, give that a few seconds to dry, and then you can fold it this way, okay, and get this tab out. And we're gonna go ahead and put glue on this tab here. Okay, and I am again gonna take that glue and push it out to the edge. And the cool thing is, is when you smear it like that, it dries faster too. So I'm just kind of putting this down like this and getting that glued into place. When you do it flat like this, it kind of ensures that you get it glued in the perfect spot. And also you don't risk creasing anything or bending anything, okay? So last but not least, we're gonna take and put glue on these three tabs here. And we're just gonna put the bottom in place and maybe add a tiny little line out to the edge as well. I'm gonna smear that out as well. Want this to be nice and pretty and perfect. And we're actually doing a dual tone on this thing because it looks really cool with two different shades of a similar color from the side. It almost looks like, it almost looks like, um, it almost looks like it's kind of one part's in the shade a little bit. So I'm gonna pull these tabs up a little bit so that as I'm putting the, the bottom on, it has a little more surface area to grab onto and you just wanna kinda of shimmy the bottom around a little bit until you've got it nice and centered. And then you can put it down on your surface and grab a dowel, or if you can get your hand in there, use your hand to push that down. Okay, just like that. All right, now here's another little tip. Same thing, you see how that little part right there is kinda of not so perfect. Just gonna dab a little bit of glue on my razor blade and just lift it up a little bit and get a little bit of extra glue right in that spot right there. 
And then before it begins to set, just push and just leave your finger on it and help kind of push it up against that other piece and then it'll dry nice and flat for you. Okay, so there's that cool little look there, that dual toned look. And then all that's left to do is you can just put a little bit of glue on the inside here. It doesn't matter where, just kind of like that. And take this little square, it's got a little L on it and that is your liner. And that's just gonna stiffen up your base and your lantern is all done. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.